Hey, it's Calpurnia. I was lucky enough to receive the other day a package of candy from my friend Johan in Sweden. And um, in the past, I'd received a package of candy from my friend um, Allison in Scotland, and I will place a link to that video um, here on the screen. But uh, this time, I have a whole big container of Swedish candy to explore. So. Um, Let's get started, shall we? Here's the container. It's um, all the way from far away Sweden, which I think is a tropical island or something. I don't know. We don't study geography very well in the United States. I'm just kidding though. I know where Sweden is. Um, it looks like Johan has decorated this with all kinds of cute little characters there. And, um, it has candy bags and all kinds of crazy stuff in there. So I can't wait to see all kinds of kooky language stuff on there. And it looks like this package cost, um, spooky, spooky. And it looks like it costs 90 crullers to um, send. 90 KR, I guess that stands for cruller. Um, I really like those as a donut, but I didn't know they used them for money in Sweden foreigners, <laughs> just kidding, um, to help me through this process, I have um, gotten some sweet tea vodka, and if you're southern like me, um, you grow up drinking sweet tea with every meal, which is basically just iced tea with the sugar added in while it's hot, and then you chill it and put lemon in it, and it's kind of like um, Kool-Aid, but made with tea. And um, the sweet tea vodka is as strong as regular vodka, but it tastes just like sweet tea. So you mix in a little bit of lemon juice or lemonade or what have you, and some ice, and it's just like your childhood, except now you're getting drunk. Well, that's still just like some of your childhoods, but that's okay. Mmm. Kids don't drink. It's really a terrible vice. It really is. Um, and Johan, I don't know if you're even old enough to drink, for Christ's sakes. No, that's right, you told me you don't drink. I hope you don't judge me for having a bit of alcohol. You know, I, I'm just one of those dissolute Hollywood types who has to indulge in every vice. <laughs> so, I um, cut this bag open with my scissors earlier, and um, the lining of the bag is filled with recycled newspaper. I tried to read it to see if it was Swedish newspaper or American and I couldn't really tell because it's so small. Let's see what's in here. And oh, let's see. Okay. This has a note. Um, why it's delicious Algren's Bilar. It's Sweden's <laughs> most purchased car. Or as they say in Sweden, Sverges mest kuta bil. Sverges mest kuta bil. I don't think I'd get that job. It smells really good. It kind of smells like a Smarties, which is an American candy. Similar color, similar smell. Oh, have to be careful here. Don't let me drop in everything. Oh, and um, the ingredients list is spelled S K U M G O D I S. Scum goodies. Scum goodies. Um, Her Blier Man Sverges Miss Kupta Bill. 1953. Art et Artelsum for de Flesta Ginuina Bill Enthusiaster from Star Shon et Milstokla e Mansklikhetens Historia. Terrible. Terrible, I know. Um, let's see. Opening, opening, opening up my bilar. I'm gonna have a pink one, cause I'm a girl. Um, there you see. Um, hmm. Hmm. Blueberries. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it kind of tastes like if a circus peanut 
mated with a gummy bear. It's not bad. And it's Sweden's most purchased car. Hello. Let's see what else. Mmm. Ooh. We got crazy dips. Here it's shaped like a foot. But then it pops. Lick, dip, and flip. And it's cola flavored. I also got a lickable cola flavored item in Allison's um, Scottish candy box. So I guess the Europeans like lickable cola. And this is from Chupa Chups. Aren't they Mexican or something? I don't know. Let's see here. This would be known as a trigger if you're trying to stop drinking, so don't watch. I think I just swallowed some Swedish newspaper. Let's see here. Oh. We have here a little um, lemon foot, it looks like. Smells like cola. Okay, for all you foot fetishists out there. Uh, It's popping. Mm. Let's see if we can do this better. Mm. That's fun, but showing it popping to you is probably pretty gross. So um, we're gonna stop that. Mmm. So um. Then we have Tom's Halon Batar, and, and these are raspberry boats. See, Johan has helpfully um, labeled translations onto the candy for me. Thank you, Johan. Johan. As a southerner, I would say it Johan, but I'm sure it's actually pronounced Johan or, or something. So, um, looks like a little um, a, a penguin riding in a boat. Um, a, a maritime theme, nautical, and um, let's see, I guess Swedish people like to eat candy versions of vehicles, be it a car or a boat, a Swede will eat it. Let's see here, Tom, I, oh, how interesting, it's like a little boat, it smells kind of, smells kind of like a wax lip, that's the kind of candy. Um, let's see here. Hmm. Hmm. Not bad. It tastes like if a jelly bean mated with a fruit roll up. Not bad at all. I'll be taking that with me to the next theatrical um, movie I go see. It's a candy watch, and um, luckily nothing I do really requires me to know what time it is, um, but <laughs> these, this brother and sister, um, they're, they're, they're both surrounded by the candy watch and they're eating it. It's like an Ouroboros of, of candy. I'm not going to eat this. I'm going to save it and wear it later. Mmm. It's, it's a neon colored foot that I can eat and lick. A lot of foot fetishists over there in Sweden, I guess. And um, a foot is actually a form of transportation. So this is the third edible form of transportation in Swedish candy. If you can get somewhere on it, they'll make candy out of it and eat it in Sweden. Mm, there's instructions on the back. Neon stick. Oh, it glows in the dark. Oh, I see. This part glows. It's like a glow stick. That's pretty exciting. I'm going to save this and I'm going to eat it in the club. When I'm up in the club, I'll, I can eat it and everyone will look at me because I'm glowing and I'll be sucking on a glowing foot. Ooh, this looks nice. Mmm, polka grease. <laughs> 
I love to dance the polka and I imagine sometimes if you're feeling stiff you can grease yourself up and right here is all the polka grease you'll ever need. Oh, it's a homemade candy cane. Oh, well that's nice. And it says mums. Does that mean... Oh my god, I thought my um, thing had stopped for a second there. I don't know if this is recording at all. Um, so, polka grease is a homemade candy cane and it says mums on it, so... I, I don't know if that means like moms as in mother or what. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, it's so elaborate. Oh, there's, there's a layer of waxed paper inside, so. Ooh. Smells like Christmas. This smells like Christmas. I'm gonna save this for Christmas. And um, what I like to do sometimes with candy canes is if you take an orange and you mash it up, but you know, keep it inside of the, the skin, and then you, you bite the ends off of a candy cane and you stick it into the orange and you suck on it really hard, you can eventually you know, the candy cane has millions of little tubes in it, and it eventually starts sucking the orange juice up through the candy cane. And it takes a little effort, but it's worth it. And it's, I don't know, I like it. It sounds awful, you know, mint orange juice or peppermint orange juice, but um, it tastes pretty good. And if it doesn't, what have you lost? An orange and a candy cane. This isn't the 1800s. You can afford to throw one away if you don't like it. So I, I love the polka grease. I'm going to save this for Christmas. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. So we have um, some Bamsi Sokerfeet Tugumi. And oh, oh here it is. Bamsi Sokerfeet Tugumi. So I'm guessing that means soccer fruit gummy bears. Um, let's see. I want to learn Swedish because there are a lot of really tall guys there and I am tall and maybe a foreign husband would see my quirks as charming whereas American husbands are just like annoying. Let's see. Um, this has a little rip cord like a pack of cigarettes or something. Let's see. Um, it's made by Sensodyne. Oh, I get it. It's like, um, some kind of mint. So now, next time I go out and somebody's like, do you have a mint, Calpurnia? I'll be like, I don't just have a mint. I have a Bamsi. And they'll say, wow, a mint from Sweden? You're so international, Calpurnia. How do you do it? And I'll say, my friend, Johan in Sweden. Mmm, okay. Oh, this is cute. Some phaser salta. Catero and oh it looks like they're little um cat shaped candies. Uh oh. You probably can't read it, but it says trick opna. Does that mean there's a trick inside? I'm an idiot. Okay, um, let's see. I want to open it carefully. Oh Lord Lord. These things are black as midnight. I'll bet this is licorice candy. Woo! Woo! That is some licorice. It tastes like licorice with salt on it. Holy cow, that's strange. Mmm. Salty licorice. I would have never thought. Oh, 
I'm trying to spit it out, but it's stuck to my teeth. <laughs> this was a trick. It said trick on it, and it was a trick. Is this a joke, Candy? Did you give me a joke, Candy, Johan? It will not come out of my mouth. <laughs> uh. Uh. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm. Okay. Um, oh, this looks interesting. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yata salt. Yata salt. What on earth is yata salt? It's it looks like a giant monster with a door between his legs carrying a tray maybe. He's he's blonde and it looks like he's wearing a Chinese field worker's hat. Um I don't know about these, Johan. These these kind of look like um, pebbles or rocks. Um, oh, it says troll. Troll got confecture. So this troll got confections, okay? Um, sugar and lots of Swedish words. All right, so good. Salted cattens were bad, but <laughs> obviously I had not tried the Jata salts because these are horrendous. This it it tastes like a rock covered in like the kind of salt that they sprinkle on the road when it snows, plus pumpkin seeds. Strangely enough, is is this really food? I mean, it smells like. <laughs> But thank you, thank you. I do appreciate the candy, Johan. I do appreciate your effort very much. Oh God. Okay, so this is a mint stang. Mint stang, and it says, Sod Lacrids Mint Mint Stang. So if you're like me, Sod Lacrids Mint Mint Stang. Oh, and it has that penguin on it. Um, no, the penguin boats were okay. And Johan says, this is my favorite, but it's from Denmark. So, um, it, this looks like a, a dark tube with um, some sort of coating. So, let's see here. Um, okay. Okay. should always eat with scissors. Huh. It all, you can make little candy sushi rolls by cutting this up and it would look like a little um, nori wrapped sushi roll for dolls. It's like a chewable peppermint stick or the inside is like those little mints that they have at restaurants sometimes that are chewable. It's very nice. Mint stang. Oh. 
some mm, some uh, Fruxo. And this is the Fruxo original. You know, the new Fruxo came out and a lot of hype, but everybody was like, it's not the same. So they brought back out Fruxo original. And this is citron flavored. That means lemon. Oh, there's, let's see. I know this video is taking forever. So, you know, feel free to pause, um, freshen up your drink. See, my throat started to close up just thinking about eating this. Um, Yotta Sur. Now, these are a pretty color, at least. Like these, this is the color of, of roaches and dirt. This is the color of, of bad things. These are pretty colors. It's pink and green and yellow. That's fine. These are perfectly fine. All of these candies taste a little different than American candies. They kind of give me a little idea of, of I don't know, the, the Swedish flavor. These are the tastes that I suppose children in Sweden are experiencing while they watch cartoons and learn life lessons and get taught manners by their parents and experience first love at the playground. And I suppose taste is one of the oft neglected senses by memoirists and writers sometimes. and. Um, you can't discount candy as being the background to um, kids' lives and adults like me. Mm, zoo flavored. <laughs> this is chimpanzee flavored. Um, I gotta see what a chip tastes like. Okay. Let's see here. Oh. It's shaped like a chip. Let's see. It's it's harder than I thought it would be. It's kind of kind of like plastic. What does this taste like? It tastes like some candy I, I remember but I can't think of it. I have to keep thinking perfectly good, but I'm going to spit it out so I can try more candy. Ooh. Oh. Well, looky here. Um. Oh, this says, I hope you like it. Your biggest fan, Johan. Love you. Aw. Uh, and this is King um, Carl the 16th Gustav Ock Drotnig Silvia. So I assume this is the um, King and Queen of Sweden. So that's cool. They still have a King and Queen, a monarchy. They look very nice. She's um, very elegantly dressed. Pretty jewelry. Hmm. Oh. What a lovely card. Thank you, Johan. Let's see what else. Ooh. Sweden flag stickers. Gotta open these right up. Let's see which 
side, which side? Stunning. I hope that's not illegal or anything. Oh. Got us a little bag here. Oh, how cute. It's a little la la la, I'm in Sweden. Well, it's a little cloth bag. Oh, I can put all the candy in it, which I'm going to do right now, except for the Yata salt, or y y Yata salt. Ooh, what's this? Let's see here. Mm, it says got, gotti, got, got. Got, gotti, got, got. Oh. Oh, look, it's a little pipe. Isn't that darling? Well, we had candy cigarettes, um, candy cigarettes where I was, you know, here, but this is a pipe. Pipes are much classier, more elegant. Mm. It's licorice. <laughs> this way, children can ape the smoking behavior of their elders. Start them young. Mm. There's all kinds of little candy in here. Mmm. There's um, Acta Gamble Dags, Chocolate Cola. Mmm. Mmm. Smells good. Oh, well, this looks like a nail later. Um, pepper. Pepper Caca. Mmm. Mmm. I remember when we were little kids, we would get, um, you could get like a, um, like pay 99 cents and get a bag full of candy from this, you know, little different little bins. You just pay 99 cents and you could fill up the bag. And, um, I don't know what's going on here. Jealous much? Jealous? Jealous? Mmm. Oh, I just dropped a lip pipe. Okay. Mmm. There's a lot of stuff in here. I can't wait. Oh, and one more. Again, four got. Got, got, it, got, got. It says on the bag. Lacrosol <laughs> in a in a red and black container. Lacrosol. It kind of sounds like a medical product to sterilize your tears, if it were in English. Lacrosol. Um, let's see what could this be. Mm. This looks a little bit like yuta salt or yata salt. So I'm a little frightened. Candy isn't normally supposed to be khaki colored, but, um, well, I guess, um, I guess there's some khaki colored candy. Here we have, um, solid little disc of candy. It tastes like yata salt. Okay, Swedish candy. Swedish people like to eat vehicles, like boats, cars, and feet. And they like to make candy out of the salt that you normally put on frozen icy roads to melt the ice. This is amazing to me. I've never had candies like these. I mean, this is like a, they're both made of like a stinging bitter salt. It's wild. I, I can't imagine children wanting this, but I guess if you grow up with it, you grow up with it. It's like me growing up with, with chitlins. Um, who would ever want that unless you were fed it as a child? I'm just 
gonna put the the lacquer salt in with the yucca salt. <clears throat> they can be friends. Mmm. Banana skids. Toned. It's duo tone. Tastes like bananas. Oh, it also has an inner wax paper layer and then an outer plastic layer. Hmm. Then we have some lollipops by Pim Pim. It's, oh, they have little boats on them. So I've seen candy with, with penguins in a boat. I've seen candies with just penguins, and now candy with just a boat. Another form of transportation. I'm sure this is wonderful. Oh, we have some sort of lollipop. It looks like a caramel or something on a lollipop. Delight. Ooh. This this candy will last me for years. I don't eat a lot of candy. I used to. I used to eat so much chocolate that they would tip me garlands made of Hershey bars. Um, in my old showgirl days, I'd be out on stage in front of 2,000 people, dancing, and people would tape together candy bars in a garland of the kind that you normally put around the neck of a horse when they win the race. And they would they would crown me with these garlands of candy bars. And I'd eat them all. And I had a really great body back then. And now I don't eat that much candy. And I'm 20 pounds overweight, honestly. All right, well goodness. I'm gonna put all my candy in this beautiful Swedish bag. And um, I'm gonna smoke my pipe. And thank you so much, Johan, for my Swedish candy. You are the best. You are the best. 